Madonna went through hell to adopt her four African-born kids. After she applied to take in her first child, David, from Malawi, news headlines exploded with claims, Madonna didn't save a life, she kidnapped a baby. The reason behind this accusation was shocking. David wasn't actually an orphan. He had a father. So how did Madonna manage to adopt him then? Turns out, before the American icon came into David's life, he was surrounded by tragedy. David's biological mother died a week after giving birth to him. His father, Johanne Banda, was deep in debt, and the 18-month-old boy was fighting pneumonia. To protect David, Johanna had no other choice but to give his son to the orphanage. That's where the boy met his American mum. But the media sacrificed the facts to create catchy headlines. Every newspaper said that Madonna kidnapped David. In my mind, I was thinking, wait a minute, I'm trying to save somebody's life. Why are you all shitting on me right now? I did everything by the book. That was a real low point for me. I would cry myself to sleep. The whole adoption story was grueling. At one point, it almost didn't happen. The Malawi law forbids foreigners to adopt a child, unless they reside in Malawi for at least a year and a half. This was an impossible criterion for the singer to fulfill, considering her international obligations. Thankfully, Madonna's lawyers found a loophole in the local adoption laws. And finally, the determined new mom was allowed to take David to his new home. But Madonna couldn't stop there. David wasn't the only Malawian kid Madonna wanted to take home. In the middle of adopting her son, she met a four-year-old girl named Mercy. Her story broke Madonna's heart. The girl's teenage mother tragically passed away, and Mercy was placed in the orphanage. Not only had this tiny girl lost her family, but she also struggled with malaria. Madonna was resolute. She would give this little angel a new home, and the caring family she definitely deserved. You'd think the second adoption would have gone easier, but in reality, adopting Mercy was even more challenging. Malawian officials denied Madonna's request to become Mercy's mother. The reason? A divorced woman isn't fit to raise a child on her own. Can you imagine how furious Madonna was after hearing such a sexist argument? I am a freedom fighter. I am a feminist. I am a rebel heart. But I am also a compassionate and intelligent human being. And if you cannot give me a logical reason for the word no, then I will not accept the word no. Madonna fought back fiercely. She hired a team of lawyers and took her case to the Supreme Court. What started out as a simple adoption ended up with the whole adoption system being overhauled. The adoption laws in Malawi hadn't been reformed for six decades, but one unstoppable woman changed that. So my argument was that women have been raising children for centuries on their own, not to mention the fact that I was doing just fine raising my own three children, Madonna shared with People.com. It was an exhausting battle that lasted for three and a half years, but Madonna won it. And now, Mercy is the happiest young lady, with the loving family she dreamt of. This helped Madonna realize that she could do more to help kids in Malawi. I'm going to do my best to help these people. I've been so shocked by what I've seen. I can't take them all home with me, but I can help as many as possible. Although, it wasn't easy to push through. It took Madonna almost 10 years to achieve her dream. Finally, she was ready to open the doors of her house for two more beautiful souls twin sisters, Esther and Stella. But this time, Madonna didn't make the decision alone. Before expanding her family once again, she had to make sure that her four children were ready. Although Mercy and David were excited to have more Malawians in the house, for Madonna's older kids, Lords and Rocco, it wasn't such an easy decision. But eventually, they also supported their mum and welcomed the newcomers. After a couple of months, it was like the twins had always been a part of the family, though it took a lot of effort from the celeb mum to make that possible. Madonna changed her life drastically for her kids. At one point, she even moved to Portugal so that David could become a soccer star. The boy is now 16 and is pursuing his dream in a junior football academy. 16-year-old Mercy enjoys playing piano, doing gymnastics and rocking her skateboard. And the 9-year-old twins aim to be the next Venus and Serena on a tennis court. These days at 63, Madonna has no plans to adopt more children. But that doesn't mean she stopped helping Malawians. The star opened the nation's first children's hospital, named after her daughter, Mercy James. And all of her kids are involved in its development. Sometimes they even visit the hospital with their mum. 
It's not easy to be the child of a superstar like Madonna, but there's no doubt that she supports all her six kids, no matter what. Love conquers all.